So Libra, let's get into your reading. Your overall energies is the Innocence card. Yes, this is the Leap of Faith card. So this is a new beginning for a lot of you Libras. There's, this is something that you're going to feel like it's a brand new start for you. A new innocence that you're going to feel from within. And it's about you really taking a leap of faith. Listening to what you are feeling deeply inside that you are wanting to change. And, and began that this is a new path. This is a new beginning. This is about your own ideas and creations coming and flowing. Uh, within you to start something so let's get in and see what it's all about here uh, the situation here the eight of cups yes this is about putting something behind you for this new beginning strong connection this month for a lot of you libras is understanding that what the past was libra uh, that's the past but now there's this new beginning you understand that you need to you know release and and have this new innocence for yourself. So this could be a connection to love. This could be finally put in the past. Yeah, there's uh, some type of message connected to this new innocence for you, Libra. This may be a decision for you to finally connect with someone uh, about love. This could be receiving a message to change your life, to believe that you know things can um, really start to look up for you. So uh, the strong message so far for a lot of you Libras is putting the past behind and starting something new and um, through communication uh, being received or you giving it to someone uh, let's see what the situation the challenge is going to you're going to have the nine of cups you're going to have celebration you're going to have your wishes fulfilled you're going to have the happiness yes this is about starting a new harvest clearing out cleaning out uh, putting the past behind you here, so yes, this really is showing that this is a new innocence. You are really clearing, cleaning, uh, seeing a new beginning for yourself, having a leap of faith, trusting uh, within to really know that this is time for you to clear up the space that has been holding uh, from you know you enjoying yourself more. So I feel this is going to be a, a very strong month of transformation and changing. And through this, there's going to be a message of love, something that you're going to be really happy about. Um, so yes, it is about now pursuing and um, going for some type of new idea through communication, through cutting through and believing and whatever it is you want to do here, Libra. So let's get into it more to figure out what it's all about here. Let's look at your astrology cards. The seventh house, so a big strong connection to love here. The seventh house is about romance and love and partnership. Getting a fair deal, finding the right connection. So a lot of you are putting the past behind you to heal so that you can move towards a new innocence. To a new relationship of love, I'm sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Look at this. You've got not only the seventh house, but Libra. And so who is connected to the seventh house? Libra. So of course this is going to be about partnerships, relationships, a new innocence, a new beginning for a lot of you Libra for putting something behind you, cutting out and clearing, wishes being fulfilled, happiness, communication of love, uh, Neptune. And Neptune's here to say you're getting through the confusion. You're getting through uh, what your struggles were, your obsessions to finally get clear now of what you want. And it is about now, you know, understanding that you've had to go through sacrifices but uh, you are now prepared to release and understand what you've gone through it's a new idea a new visualization for you that you are uh, getting through um, all this confusion but it's allowing you to uh, start a new type of relationship for yourself a new innocence so through the confusion through really having to it looks like, you know, really go deep within to your feelings and clear out something that was, you know, still, you know, connected to your vibration. So whatever it is, you have cleared it out. It looks like you understand the pain, understand what you've gone through uh, that you need to clear so that you can have this in a sense. So, and I feel it's about relationships, partnerships so far, a new beginning in that. So uh, let's look at your own past card then. Yes, passion. There you go. It's time for your heart to sing with joy. So that's what I feel. There's a lot of passion this month. From the confusion, through the sacrifices, through what you've gone through with Neptune. Neptune really, you know, got you having to go deep within your 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 soul, deep within your your emotions to understand what you need to do now to have a new beginning. And it's going to be full of passion. You're letting your heart 
feel with joy again and you're letting go and uh, just you know releasing so that you can see that there can be a new innocence that there is going to be guidance and um love on your journey towards it and it does look like yes you're going to have a strong connection to passion love fun relationships uh wonderful fun excitement so make sure um you know if there's time for celebration time to you know connect to others make sure that you're doing uh so yeah so if you get a, a message to go to a party to an invitation to somewhere please make sure that you uh take the offer uh, so yeah, let's look at your past energy here, Libra, Princess of Cups. Yeah, it looks like there's been some cloudiness in love, cloudiness of what to do. It looks like you had to go clearing again, healing something, and things are getting clearer now. As the Princess of Cups, your emotions, uh, you were trying to really figure out about your emotions and uh, getting clear about how to communicate your emotions, how to release past emotions. So I feel this is a time when Libra, a lot of you Libras are getting clear on what what you need to do the past you really had to go deep and there was a lot of cloudiness of what you want to do about love but um, yes it's now things are getting clear it does look like you really have gone deep within and um, uh, understood now what you need to do to, to put the past behind you to have more love to have more excitement to enjoy and this is why there's there's communication there's love there's excitement there's passion coming to you in the month of April uh, Libra so yeah let your heart sing which I open up enjoy yourself uh, put the past behind it looks like now it's just a new beginning so uh, your foundation the Prince of Coins yeah it really is about starting a new journey uh, the Prince energy is all about new journeys and the coins energy is an earth energy getting grounded uh taking it slowly so maybe a lot of you libras have taken it slowly in your foundation to get through the confusion of neptune and your feelings and um because of that you've taken time to you know allow yourself to heal and clear and do what you needed to do to put things behind you it looks like things are going to be hot positive because of that so yeah you've got the sun's energy to know that this new journey that you have got barked on it's because you have taken your time to clear out things that you needed to from the past and now things are going to really look out for you yeah you've got a lot of joy in the month of april positivity excitement getting getting clearer yeah the confusion neptune has really confused you for a lot of you um libras but what it's doing now is really inspiring you and giving you passion and desire and 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 here you go there's the sun to prove it there you go look at things have been clear clear uh, unclear in love and look at things just start to um, become bright and things start to be understood about love and you start to fulfill your heart with joy and passion again so oh yes uh, it does look like your angels are bringing a beautiful connection of passion and joy and love to some of you Libra energies through healing through taking the time to really understand what you need to do um, for yourself first to have passion um, it does look like you're going to focus now on love so message from spirit <laughs> gosh wow guess what your, your angels your guides yes they're saying it's time for love this is the ace of cups new love enjoyment fulfillment desire there's going to be tons of fishes out in the sea that you're going to be able to pick through Libra but there's going to be one special one that you really want to enjoy to really love so yes get out there and, and mingle have fun because someone's waiting for you but I just feel there's one swim in your way it's one swim in your way and it may be a strong water energy especially a Pisces energy um, but a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces but I see love your energy here is flowing with love Love, new understanding about love, breaking free from the past so that you can receive love. Uh, it's clearance, it's a new beginning, it's a new innocence, it's awesome. So, what's your future bring so far? The Prince of Arrows. Yes, this is you starting in another, again, another prince here. So, you've got uh, the Prince of Queens and the Prince of Arrows and your foundation and your new future. This is you. Uh, you know, understanding now 
what you need to be grounded, what you need to do to be more uh, clear about uh, your journey forward. But I do feel you're, you're receiving the balance that you need. And this is about understanding where you're wanting to uh, be fruitful in uh, your, your work energy. And it's also about being clear about where you want to put your energy towards and I do feel a lot of you want to get clear and put your energy towards love and this is why there's going to be happiness yes I do feel things are going to get um, um, you know it does look like your foundation has been um, um, you know turbulent there hasn't been a lot of grounding energy for you for some reason for some of you Libras but it does look like uh, things are going to get a lot clearer for you in the near future. I, th I feel you're going to be uh, more grounded in who you are, more strong about what you want to do, more positive. Uh, just a future of love and excitement and fun and just healing. And it is wonderful to see. So your energy here. Uh, let's see. Five of Cups. Yeah, it does show your energy. The Five of Cups. Disappointments. Uh, and when I see fives, it's all about karmic lessons and tests and the five of cups there's been a lot of disappointments and sadness and unemotional um grief it seems like with the five cups so there still has this is something that you've had to clear out there still seems to be some type of um unhappiness or disappointment or loneliness but i do feel you're getting the strength now like i said i feel there's something uh, getting stronger within you, the strength to really move past this unhappiness, move past this karmic situation that you've gone through. And I feel that you're getting stronger, you're getting clearer, you're getting more positive, you're getting more grounded. To now see a lot of you, Libra, that you're ready for love. You're ready to give uh, more of a connection to someone and start something new and fresh. That's what I'm seeing in this. It really is about love so far. Uh, but balancing that, balancing that with your life and love, you, you're going to have a nice balance. So other energies, let's see. Justice. Justice will be served and there you go, transformation. Really, this is a change in how you think, you know, maybe there's a change in relationships with others, but this is about justice. You are connected, Libra, to the justice card. This is your card. This is your connection. And justice, it will be served. This is about, again, balance. Like I said, I feel you're going to have, you're going through a huge transformation and healing and putting things in the past and starting something fresh. And you're going to have justice because, because of this, balance because of this. And uh, releasing, you know, the past disappointment and confusion is really going to see that you're going to see a, a connection to someone, a communion, a, a union with someone. So yes, I do feel a lot of you Libras, uh, just a big change in love, it looks like, and how you think about love and disappointments in love and uh, really seeing a lot clearer in how you want to express your love. So hopes, wishes, desires here. Uh, Eight of Wands. So this is about the key is communication. The key is communication. This is going to free you to have love. So, again, I feel this is important when we see this um, message in Eight of Wands. This is about rapid communication. April seems to be this is the key to some type of new freedom, some type of change, some type of message that you're going to give, Libra, or you're going to receive to put the past behind you so that you can move on. So, things are going to get clearer in, in April. You're going to see uh, new desires. You're going to uh, start to put things in action and really want to fulfill something um, this could be traveling and having a lot of fun and meeting someone on the uh, through this adventure that there's love so yes this is a month a lot of you single uh, Librans need to get out and have fun you may meet someone through traveling on a vacation um, but I do feel you're clear now. You're getting more grounded in your 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 strength, your feelings from past situations of disappointments to getting now more, um, you know, more ready to start this journey of innocence for you. So that is beautiful to see there. So let's see what the outcome is for you here, Libra. <laughs> yes, the king of staves. Yeah, like I said, you're growing stronger, more powerful. This is about you using your creative uh, desire, your desires, your creative impulses, your 
energy to put things into action, to get out of stagnant energy. You know, it's, it really is showing that you are the outcome is you getting out of something that's been stagnant, that you have been trying to release, that you have been trying to get away from, but now you're getting clear. You're, you're putting things into action with the King of Stays, and by the end of the month, you're going to feel you know, this this new power of strength and, and knowing that there's love, there's a new innocence for you, there's something that um, you're beginning and it's all because of this 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 clearance that you are feeling from this release from Neptune. And now it's like you're feeling that deep connection with Neptune. You're going to understand how to connect with others intuitively so that you can find this deep love with someone. So really, I feel the month of April is really about love and you're finding the balance in love. The key is communication, putting things to action for desire, for love. But this is really about you beginning something and having a leap of faith and starting something new and fresh um, for you. So let's look at your... Um, uh, I pulled some oracles for you, and it's from the Ocean Oracle. I just got these, and I love them. It's from a beautiful energy named Michelle, and she's dedicated her whole life with connecting to these shells. And, of course, her name, she was um, 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 given the name Michelle and, of course, connected to shells. So it just shows you she was supposed to have uh, this connection. So I um, love them, and I thought there would be a nice oracle to share with you and see some of the messages that you can uh, receive and also learn a little bit about shells. So let's look at the first uh, shell here and uh, it's a beautiful one there. Hope you can see it okay. I don't want to put too much light on it. And uh, this is a grinning ton, a grinning ton. So the message is this, grinning, smiling, maintaining a sense of humor. So awesome. So this is about you having fun, ha keeping a sense of humor, and so grinning and smiling. So it looks like there's going to be a reason for you to grin. It looks like you're going to have lots of reason to smile and have a sense of humor because of love. Something coming your way that you're going to be really positive. Communication with someone that's going to put a big smile on your face. So yes, the grinning ton there is going to uh, give you something to smile about. So uh, let's look at the next one. It's that beautiful shell. I love that color there. And this shell is called a cone with barnacles. And loss of identity needing to assert oneself. Loss of identity needing to assert oneself. And this is a cone with barnacles. A cone with barnacles. And I feel this is what we're talking about here of putting the past, you know, loss of identity and now starting something new. Loss of identity because you're having this new innocence. And so you're going to assert yourself now. This is why you have the king of stays as your energy is, is um, uh, through this loss of identity and, and having a new innocence with you, you're going to be more assertive like the king of stays and uh, put things into action that you really want to now. So beautiful messages so far. Okay, here's the next show. So let's see what this one is. This is a West Indian cup and saucer. A West Indian cup and saucer. Okay. I see how it could look like a cup and saucer. So this is a party celebration social event. What did I say there, Librans? There you go. The oracle is telling you. This is a new time for celebration, funness. Make sure that you go to a party. Like I said, if you get work to go to a party, a celebration, whatever it is, it's time to go and have fun. You are receiving messages from these shells. They're just like minerals. Minerals give out a special type of energy of intuition. The cell, shells do the same thing, and they give off their different type of intuition uh, through their energy. So look at the last shell. So far, it's really connecting to your reading here. And this is called a quahog clam. A quahog clam. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But what it says here is this. Uh, heart health, blood pressure, doctors and hospitals. Okay, so this is something to be alert of. Make sure that if you guys are have any of the Libra energies, are uh, make sure you check your blood pressure. And if you are feeling like you need to see the doctor, 
please make sure you do. Obviously, this is something about blood pressure. So be aware of maybe having too much fun. Make sure your blood pressure doesn't get too high uh, from all of it. Keep everything in balance because I do feel that may be a message of having too much fun. You may need to check your blood pressure. So, wow, what a powerful and wonderful reading for the month of April. So let's look at your major arcana cards here. And I'm just going to close this up here, Libras. Uh, it's party celebration. It's love. It's new beginnings. It's innocence. It's fun. Um, it's love. It's passion. So your major arcana cards here. Uh, two major arcana cards. Yes, like I said. Um, I was trying to get that light on there. Innocence and justice that's why this is about a new beginning it's going to be very balanced for you uh you know it, it is about the, the seventh house and when it says this is all about a fair deal and like i said there you go libra this is all about you connecting to you this is all about knowing this is your month of love you're connected to love you are um uh, connected to the energy of venus uh, that is your major planetary connection and so i just feel you just have this beautiful month of love and it really is getting fair deal finding the right chemistry with someone that's what i feel is you're going to find the right chemistry with someone this month here and knowing it's just going to be a new beginning for a lot of you uh libras who have been trying to get through some type of confusion and changes and it's all about passion it's new desire it's transformation for a lot of you libras who have been um doing your karmic lessons and tests and you know doing what you need to do to heal to put the past behind you and it looks like a lot of you Libras are cutting out and seeing now it's time to start a new journey yes it is clearance it is time to see things clearly now it is definitely time to think see things clearly and it's about a journey that you're taking uh, knowing that it has taken you a while to make this step that you are ready now and i feel this is about now communication moving forward action uh, preparing yourself to receive some type of uh, communication with someone or you're going to give some type of communication to someone else that's going to really change uh, yourself change you and I do feel it's all about love it really is so yes uh, love is all around so I feel that's why it's important to communicate get out there and celebrate because I feel there's uh, mother moon like I said you know it's a new moon tonight but there's the moon showing you that she's bringing you some type of love energy this is abundance princess of cup this is all about emotional messages receiving things like I said you're getting stronger the strength of you is powerful now uh, Libra and uh, it's all the work that you've done to really change and, and be prepared to go on this new journey. 